and applications of synthetic division. So I know it's been a while, so let's go back through synthetic division, at least the operation. Now again, what I, what I recalled, if, you wanna, if we're going to use synthetic division, we've got to make sure we have a linear factor. Do we have a linear factor? Perfect. We can use synthetic division. And we just want to make sure we're going to use descending order. So when we're doing synthetic division, you're basically going to take the 0 and put it on the outside. And then you're going to take the coefficients of the dividend and write them over here. So if x plus 1 is my factor, that means my 0 is negative 2. And again, guys, if you get confused, you're like, hmm, I'm not really sure, just set x plus 2 equal to 0 and then solve, right? Some of the more complicated ones, you'll kind of get confused. Like, so just take, the, just take your divisor and set it as like your 0, OK? Now we take the coefficients of our dividend. So it's going to be 1, 7, 14, and 8. There's no missing term, so I don't need to include 0 at all. So now, the first term you bring immediately down, that's like your freebie. Everybody likes freebies. So that's 1. You multiply on the diagonal, add on the vertical. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Multiply on the diagonal, add on the vertical. 7 plus negative 2 is 5. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. 14 plus negative 10 is positive 4. 4 times negative 2 is a negative 8. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. So remember, synthetic division is just a tool, right? We have to actually make sense of the, what we get when we do synthetic division. So while it's helpful, it's like faster than long division, we had to like manipulate everything a little bit. And then we have to do synthetic division, which helps us. But now we kind of need to make sense of this answer. So what this answer, this last number is our remainder. All right. The second to last one is our constant. This is the coefficient of our linear term. Here's the coefficient of our quadratic term. And if we had more and more answers, they'd just be the coefficients of higher and higher powers. All right? But we only have up to x squared, so we only, we're just going to stop there. But if I had more and more numbers, that's what those would represent. Okay. So this is my quotient. So if this is my quotient, then we could say that this is also a factor. Right? So we could write that as x squared plus 5x plus 4 is my factor. Now, that's important because what did we learn last class period? We learned about, oh, if we know factors from division, we can.